came to our attention that the um, electronic poll books that were used in the Davidson County um, Democrat, uh, the Davidson County primary uh, on August 2nd um, defaulted to the Republican ballot if no ballot was chosen um, uh, or if the uh, poll worker did not ask uh, the voter which ballot they wanted. So this is obviously out outrageous that it defaults to any party ballot. It shouldn't default to any ballot at all. The other issue is the uh, the way this is being kept under wraps. Um, that uh, you know, uh, we were notified by Sheriff D Darren Hall that he had this issue. Um, he was given the Republican ballot, voted on the Republican ballot, notified was notified by um, um, the. Um, uh, he notified Albert Tisch that it happened, um, and uh, uh, Albert Tisch confirmed that yes, indeed, the ballots actually do default to, to Republican. And um, you know, so he knew this when the election commission meeting happened a few days later on the 13th, and he reported to the um, election commission uh, that there were no problems with the August 2nd primary, and that he was delighted with the way the poll books went, and that he, he suggested they deploy them for the rest of the counties um, for the general election. Um, so there's a, there's a systemic problem with the Davidson County Election Commission and how it's being operated, and it needs to be addressed. So we need a, a complete audit of the, uh, of the August 2nd election. We need a complete audit of the Davidson County Election Commission from the poll books to how their workers are being trained. Um, we need the state to weigh in on this, you know, I, I mean, we need the, the Secretary of State and the state election coordinator to notify the state attorney general and the U.S. attorney general, the district attorney of Davidson County. We need to see if this is a violation of the Voting Rights Act. Um, this is a very serious problem. It's completely outrageous that it's happening. So why not file a lawsuit? I mean, why, why ask for reports to be done as opposed to take the legal route? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I mean, other than uh, we think we need to find out exactly what happened, if we can have some accountability, uh, explanations, if things could, problems can be addressed, if we can continue to look at the way elections are being run, um, that we could have, uh, you know, the people of the, of, the, of the county could actually have, um, you know, fair and accurate elections going forward without having to have a lawsuit.